early on this year, I found this really incredible book by Louis Zayn called Kids at Work. Now, obviously I was familiar with the work of Louis Zayn, but really having that book in my hands and going through it made me really emotional in a way because the photos are quite stunning and quite like good. They're so good. They're so powerful. And it just, it was so inspiring that it made me want to know more of now. Of course, I'm familiar with the work of Louis Zayn, but it was more like through history books and kind of here and there. And I never had like a sit down and had a proper look at Louis Zayn's works. And I found Men at Work and other books such as Louis Zayn in America. So it was really interesting. And overall, I also found other interesting things, such as a speech that he gave in 1909 titled Along the Lines of Social Photography and How the Camera Might Help with the Social Uplift. So in, I'm going to be quoting some passages of this speech that he gave, because I think that the whole idea, the, his whole body of work plus his words are really interesting and the whole story behind Kids at Work is really inspiring and motivational. Now obviously we're going to be just briefly talking about his career, but we're going to be mostly casting the light on Kids at Work. And yeah, so grab your favorite drink, make yourself comfortable, however that might be, and let's go into the video. And I found Kids at Work by chance after reading How the Other Half Lives, written in 1890 by policeman Jacob Rees. And Kids at Work is a collection of notes and images taken by American photographer Louis Ein, who had actually been trained as a sociologist. And so he used this art to cast a light on social problems and bring them to the attention of the masses because, as he states, the picture is the language of all nationalities and all ages. And he started his social photography more seriously in 1905 while photographing places in New York such as the Ellis Island as the immigrants arrived. And subsequently he photographed the tenements and sweatshops in which these immigrants were forced to live and work at. And the majority of these photos were then published in 1908 then getting attention into the conditions these people were facing. And it was through these photos that Louis Ein came to the conclusion that photography, besides documenting, could be employed as a tool for social change. And this led to a position with the National Child Labour Committee. Now, let me stop you right here, because if you're wondering what was this committee for, obviously the name is pretty self-explanatory, but if you're wondering how come child labour was a thing and why people didn't do anything about it, well, that's because obviously we're talking about a very different age. We're talking about an age where child labor was a direct consequence from industrial revolution, which happened between 1760 and 1840. Now, industrial revolution created kind of like a boom in the American and European economies. And this dictated that was sort of like a need for a cheaper labor force. And some of the jobs that were available then were kind of like they needed small bodies to fit in certain things in between machines or cleaning chimneys or whatever it is. And so children, obviously from really extremely poor families and extremely desperate, were kind of like targeted. And obviously most of these children were targeted because they had no access or, way or means of affording education, but also because they were from poor families from you know, different countries and some of them didn't even speak English. And the idea that employing kids was good was because that it basically they earned less, they did the job and they didn't complain. They didn't go on, you know, fighting for races for their rights because basically they were seen as nothing. And this is very sad, but it's very true. And even though obviously child labor still happens to these days, we're talking about an age where something truly changed due to the work of Louis Zayn. And if you're asking yourself why society and people didn't do anything about it, well, they knew it existed, but they didn't know what it really looked like. And so throughout a decade, Louis Zayn traveled around the country documenting child labor. 
And to be honest, this was a very dangerous job, not only for the people participating and helping Ein with his work, but for Ein himself, as he frequently was threatened by police and foremen at the places he visited. And in his annotations, he often describes how he comes up with excuses to photograph the workers, posing as an industrial photographer, a fire inspector or a Bible salesman, how he was denied access to the premises and how he hid and waited for children to finish their work really late in the night. And these annotations were often made in secret inside his coat pocket. He photographed children's birth entries in family Bibles, measured children's heights by the buttons on his vest and wrote about the situation of each child. And some of them opened and told him about themselves, how old they were, how long they had been working, their wages and sometimes their life-changing injuries. But it wasn't just the subject the only reason why these photos became so relevant. It was also due to the technique, in this case Louis Ein's photography techniques. He frequently made a very interesting and dramatic use of angle and depth of field, and so he framed the workers in ways that would allude to the idea of how small and fragile they were compared with the environment they were in. But he also used the contrary, meaning he also made use of a very shallow depth of field to isolate their figure amidst the surroundings, almost attributing to them angelic qualities, and in a way isolating them from the rest. And ultimately, these photos illustrated a problem and assisted in imposing federal regulations and the maintenance of workplace conditions, and to really pass the message in Ein's speech, which was the dictum then of the social worker is, let there be light. And in this campaign for light, we have the light writer, the photograph. And so I find this extremely interesting, not only motivating, inspiring, but also very helpful, especially having in consideration all the issues that we have going on in the world right now. And it kind of can tell us that we can actually help and kind of, you know, um, through photography, do something about it. And yeah, I guess that um, if you have any thoughts or comments or something that you want to share, do it down below. I'll be reading and I'm sure other people will. And I think it's cool that we kind of get to exchange um, ideas and thoughts and, you know, with each other. So yeah, without further ado, this has been all for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and I'll see you here for another video very soon.